when Cab Agreed. Calloway sold a million records with Hottie Hotty Ho, as most devs like to say, niggas wasn't talking about him. Why is that a part of the conversation? The re when, when, when you talk about music and you talk about art, when, when niggas try to put music and art in the same in the same box, I just can't really fuck with it. Well, music like, is art. But not. But we can say that. It's an art we, firm. We, we, we can say it's an art firm, but everybody gonna everybody gonna trade it in for commerce. Art, art. That definitely art, you right on that. Art, art becomes commerce in the latter stages of it. People that make art create art. They give it to the art dealer. They give it to the art dealer. Gives it to the art buyer. And in ten years, it's gonna be worth fifteen See, million dollars. I, I Hold think, on. I but get what, what you're saying. But what I'ma say is, what yeah. I'ma say is, at the end of the day, can we really sit here and say it's art when everybody cool with they label for seven and shit to iTunes for a dollar ninety nine? It's art, but we can't pick our own price. It's art, but we create based on whatever niggas say. It's art, but we still making music totally videos, mixtapes, and albums. So at the end of the day, we can really talk about all this shit, but at the end of the day, everybody just gonna let niggas sit here and sign. Now I will never be a hater, I'm your biggest fan. I hope it falls into place just how you planned it. Life could put you in a pickle, just make sure it's kosher. Lean on me like Bill Willis until you smell the roses. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Most importantly, you need to see the clip, right? Vince Staples got a point, and, and I'm going to take it somewhere. We make cheap art. Musicians, uh, um, inventors, content creators, whatever. If you're black, you're making cheap art. Uh, I, was, I was on the phone with one of my friends, one of my good friends, earlier today, and he was like, you know, we was talking about, we started talking about the generation's lack of intelligence, right? And then he was talking about, like, Minister Farrakhan and how he's like, man, I need a few more good speeches out of him, him to drop a few more gems before he passed. Like, he needs those good sermons. And I asked the question, I'm like, how many gems do we need? As 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 Black America, how many how many gems do we need? Because and we got into the uh, conversation about being addicted to gems. You know, I I I need I, I need some inspiration. I need a quotable, and then you get it. It's like, oh, that's what I need. Then you throw it away, and then you need a new one. And that's the same. That that's why I say you know our art is cheap because we don't value it. We say we need it. Then we get it, and then we get it, and then we discard it because we want a new piece of art. So it's not valuable. And and then we get mad when people start picking their price, like, no, nah, my stuff is valuable. It's like, who who are you to say the gems that you're giving out to society are valuable? Well, that's for me to say. It's like, yeah, but if I wait on you to say it, you're going to lowball it. And all of the great things that I, I, I do are going to be worth $1.99. And you're going to complain about that, and you're not going to buy that. And, and here's the issue. A brand and what a brand represents makes you pay the extra money, right? And what I mean by that is this. You want to be seen with something that says something that says Louis Vuitton or Balenciaga or Gucci. You know, you you want to say you have a painting from Basquiat or you know a Rembrandt or something like that. You know, Old Warhol or something, right? But you're not gonna say something like. Um, This is Dapper Dan. That's why I got it. This is FUBU. That's why I'm still rocking it. Uh, this is Italian Twine Watch. That's why I got it. You're not going to say that. Because, you know, until, until somebody else solidifies it for you and make it cool, it's not an issue. And, and, and the issue becomes what? As Vince Staples was talking about art, Somebody else sets the price, and, and and you don't get the it it doesn't get to appreciate value because people don't appreciate it. That's how things appreciate in value when people appreciate them. 
but we're having a society where our value depreciates the the the, the more we give it. Kind of like if I give you the best that I got today and for and for, and, and next week and next month for the whole year you're going to have an expectation that he's going to give me the best. But I don't have to appreciate it because it keeps coming. And then when I say, I'm done because I'm not appreciated, then you go, hey, you need to come back, man. You dropped a whole lot of gems, brother. Like, you're not going you, you, to, you, you need to do something like you did the other time when, you know, I was halfway paying attention because I ain't just, because because I ain't appreciate it until it's gone, and that's the issue. We have, a, we have a weird relationship with art where, you know, other people appreciate it because they know it can be gone. We, we don't appreciate it because we're trying to make somebody make something else new. And everything has its course. There's, a, there's an end to everything. So the greatest things people have ever done might have been overlooked because you don't appreciate their 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 artistry. Because instead of appreciating the good thing that they do, you want the next thing. And I'm not saying subpar stuff. I'm saying good stuff, great stuff. We ignore good stuff and great stuff. You know, I need another one. I need another one. I need another one. And that's why I said we had that conversation about being addicted to gems, you know. There comes a point where in society, we got to ask the question. In our society, what have we appreciated and gravitated to and thought was priceless or, or high level art? And unfortunately, a lot of it has been BS and fluff. Now, I can say one thing that we do is we might hop on a trend and hop on some BS or some fluff and go, oh, it's great, it's genius, and then realize, man, this is stupid, and I can't believe I supported this, and stop. But the problem is what? If you got great material that's being marketed like great material, and you got entertaining fluff that's being marketed like great material, we gravitate to the fluff and then run the great material out of business and then go, that was stupid. Why am I supporting this? You know what? Where that great thing that I was ignoring? It's gone. It's gone. Man, I should I should have checked that out when I had the chance. You should have, but you didn't. Because that artistry wasn't valuable to you into, you know, we don't get woke on our ignoring our greatness until, you know, all the trends are gone, which is dumb. But I digress. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you.